Hey there, friends. Nibs again. Out here in the garage today doing a little bit of goofing around. It is a very, very windy day out today. And so I thought I'd stick inside the garage here today and do a little bit of goofing around. Do a little bit of uh, work with this NV400 sent over to me by One Leaf. Uh, this is a really cool scope. Um, <clears throat> been out to the range a few times playing with it. And uh, it is a lot of fun. Um, I'm still working on getting some nighttime footage for it. But uh, what I thought I'd do today is just run through the features that you would see uh, looking through it because in the range videos that I've done, uh, the recordings from the actual scope itself do not show all of the, like the, uh, it has a uh, tilt and compass and uh, all sorts of stuff you can't see the menus if you're changing the menus and stuff so we're going to try to capture that good on my other camera here uh, when i had it playing a couple of minutes ago i did see a little bit of uh, some like screen refresh lines flashing through there so uh, it might not be exactly crisp and perfect as far as the video goes but i think we can capture uh, the basic uh, setup of this thing so i do have it turned off right now let me start my camera up first here, and then we'll go ahead and uh, fire this thing up right from, from cold. And I'll come up with the, uh, the One Leaf logo there for starters. <coughs> and uh, it's uh, booting up. You can see the kind of the, the refresh lines flashing up there a little bit. Uh, I did find that uh, putting my camera here on the lowest resolution setting actually helped that quite a bit. Um, it is not, you don't see any of that when you're looking through it with a normal eye. So, so now it's all booted up and it has uh, a number of features that we'll point out real quick. So right now over on the left hand side uh, it says uh, X 1.0. So this scope is a 2 to 26 power zoom. So right now X1.0 actually means that it's on a 2 power. And this knob right here, the, you would turn that one and that would actually increase your zoom. So that would be 4X, that would be 6X. And you can actually change your that uh, setting to be, and I'll show you that in the menus in a couple minutes, you can change that so that you're changing it by a tenth of a uh, X, or it would be 0.2 of an X in this scope's case because each click is, but anyway, so, <laughs> so that's how you change your zoom settings. It's just as easy to use the, the 1.0. Um, down, just down below that is actually an inclinometer, I guess you'd call it. Um, so when you raise the gun up, you can see that is actually going up towards the 10. And then you come back down, and now it's just about back to zero again. I'm just right here in my garage. I'm not even seven yards. I'm probably only five and a half or six yards away from that can. So, <laughs> uh, But you guys can see this is my normal uh, shooting range here in the garage. And uh, that's pretty cool. So... Down at the bottom there, it does have a, it tells you what the record mode is right now. It's in 2K mode. It'll go up to 4K video. Uh, very cool. Um, oh, you know what? Probably the reason I'm not recording very well is I'm in nighttime mode right now and it's daytime out. So let me change that real quick before uh, we go too much further and see if that actually helps. Uh, Yep, right there. I am in. So let's go back to day mode. I bet that'll make things life. That'll make life a lot better. Maybe. <laughs> Hope it didn't change. I am by by no means an expert on this. Uh, oh, yeah. There we go. Look at that. That's a lot better. Still see a little bit of uh, 
So I was wondering why it wasn't. Uh, so now let's do a long press again. We'll get out of the menu for now. So now, because uh, I was just starting to look at the bottom of the, <clears throat> so I'm still in 2K mode, but now you can see the, I'm in day mode, which is uh, the first, uh, there's a little menu along the bottom, kind of like what you'd see on a computer. Um, and then uh, I'm not sure what that one means and, uh, or what that 50 means, but then next to that is shows you got 95% uh, space left on your capacity on your chip, your uh, micro SD card. Next to that is your battery indicator fully uh <clears throat> and then up above that, now we have a uh, side to side inclinometer. And let me see if we can let me get that in the dark there so we can see it better. So now, if I tip that, you can see it's tilting towards negative 10. And if I come back the other way, now I'm clicking towards positive 10. Or actually, I think it was the other way around. Yeah. But uh, now we're back to zero, and uh, that's pretty cool. And then lastly, let's see if I can get it in the upper left-hand corner. There is actually a comp the compass feature, so we can turn that and... So now let's, let's uh, talk about the reticles real quick before we get into the menu. So the menu, the reticles, there's like seven different reticles and a bunch of different colors and you can change them. So this is what it comes from the factory stock as green with the square with the dot. But uh, let's get into the menus here real quick and we'll take a look at that. <clears throat> so you have uh, the first setting right there is reticle choice. So we're on reticle five. Uh, you can go to reticle with a, a crosshairs, uh, there is a whole a host of choices. There's actually like a an old German or Soviet uh, style. Let's select that one real quick and take a look at it. So now you have the. Uh, old uh, military style sniper type with uh, just two lines going this way and then a point set up in the center. <clears throat> Let's go back. Oop, I turned down the... Uh... So a short press of this button that I'm holding right now turns on the... Uh... <laughs> you can see the flashing there. The turns on the laser rangefinder, which is not what I meant to do there. Um, so now the next setting in there is shot zero. So once you take a first shot, you would go to this and you could um, move your red. So, so right now, the, if you look, there's a white, um, white X and a red X. <clears throat> you would move the red X so that it was sitting over top of where your shot is. So you did the you would do the side to side first, and then you click the button again, and then you would do the up and down, and uh, and then you would click again, and you would be done. So that's that. So now reticle color. Uh, we're using green right now, but you can choose red and white. Or black or blue you know, we don't want to change it so we'll stay on green um, position XY position I'm not sure what that is oh that's where your reticle sitting in the uh, that's where your reticle is sitting so you can have several reticles set up for different distances that's what that circle was in the bottom that I didn't know what the one is where your reticle position is. So if you have a, a zero for a hundred and then a zero for 200 and a zero for 300, you could have those set up on one, two, and three. 
and then you could just change the reticle position real quick and change your it's just like doing a, a zero stop uh, <clears throat> so that is uh, pretty cool there um, ballistic parameters this thing does have a ballistic calculator I haven't really dug into it too deep to figure out that whole thing yet um, that is definitely something that I need to uh, um, work on but uh, let's go back to our menu uh, you can this one will do first focal plane or second focal plane right now I have it set up for first focal plane so when I uh, when I zoom in the reticle also zooms in along with the picture but if you want to set up for second focal plane where the reticle stays the same size in the picture all the time no matter where your zoom is you got that choice as well uh, range marker align uh, haven't got into that one yet but uh, ISO sensitivity for your uh, photo taking so you, you can do different uh, ISO settings if you don't want to have it on auto Oop. my range is back on again <laughs> oh, so we were on unit you can sh select between yards and meters screen aspect you can choose between 4.3 16.9 or small movie mode this is where you can select whether you're in 4K, a uh, couple different modes of 4K, uh, up to 120 frames per second, and 2K or uh, HD, 30 frames per second. Uh, photo resolution, 12 megapixels. You can go as low as 8, up to 48 megapixels photo resolution. Movie clip time. So, so this is what got me... <laughs> When I was out at the range with it the last time, it was set for two minutes, and I was shooting for like 15, 20 minutes, and <clears throat> had like a whole bunch of little files I had to splice all together. So the maximum you can go to for a photo clip length is 10 minutes, uh, but two minutes is the minimum. Um, that doesn't mean that it's going to stop, but it will start a new file on the SD card after every 10 minutes. So uh, 10 minutes is a lot better than two minutes let me tell you so um auto record thing would start auto recording um i guess with motion uh, i haven't read into that too much uh, this thing does have an onboard microphone and uh, you can uh, record sound with that I, I like to use this lapel mic but we'll play around with the uh, mic recording more when i get it out to the range next time uh, you can set up your exposure. Um, that may that may actually help with the uh, I'll leave it at zero for now. Uh, metering. Let's see what metering does. I'm not sure. Uh, center or spot or multi. I'm not sure about that one yet. Brightness, set your brightness of your image. Uh, contrast, chain. we all know what contrast is. Saturation, all right, magnification adjust. This is what I was talking about earlier where you could choose between, go, so a 1.0 change is actually changing it by 2x. So the other choice is 0.2. So you would be changed. So 0.2 would be like uh, 0.4x. You're changing it, <clears throat> which is about half half of a half of a power. Um, red dot on or off. So you can turn the red dot on, and uh, it actually shoots a laser across the. That's pretty cool. Um, I still got the uh, still got the rangefinder blinking there. Uh, button backlight is on. And you, you can see I can't show you right now, but all the buttons up here on the top are all lit up. Uh, LCD brightness. Let's see here. You can 
see the LCD brightness change in there. Um, picture in picture. So this is pretty cool. So the picture in picture, I don't know if, uh, if it's going to show up with the, uh, let me get out of the menu mode here. So, if you notice up there at the top, uh, that is kind of giving you a, a bigger, bigger zoom of the entire picture. Not sure what you would want that for, but it's a feature they have. So, oh, turn the laser on again. But let's go back to here on picture in picture. So this is this is kind of the key feature of this whole thing. Is uh, you got day mode, you got starry mode, and you've got night mode. Um, and so right now we're on. Uh, day mode. I want to turn that picture in picture off. That's actually kind of annoying to me, but So let's go back to so the the day mode is when you're outside and it Actually has this little cap on the front that you would want to have shut to limit the amount of light coming in Now if you're out at like very end of the day like I always find myself <laughs> over at the other range just about dusk um, you can switch to uh, starry mode and that will make the uh, sensors much more uh, much more sensitive uh, you'll get less color true color properties but you'll have a lot better uh, picture of what you're looking at and then uh, it says it'll work into even like a, a half bright moon um, and then the night mode is for when it's pitch black out you switch to night mode and then you turn your uh, your illuminator on, which we don't really, really need in here because it's not dark in here. So our display icon, uh, I don't know what that display icon is, but uh, display widgets. The widgets, I believe, are all the, like the inclinometers and the compass and all of that sort of thing. Compass calibration, so if, if you think the calibration is off, you can uh, do a compass calibration, but we'll get out of that for now. Gyro, gyro calibration as well. So you can do a date stamp uh, on your video. Uh, date format, you can set up your date format that you display uh, by month or date, whatever different uh, year, month, day, date, month, day, year. Um, <clears throat> you can set up your clock. I don't have, I never set the time on it. Is it right? I don't even know. All right, so format SD card. Uh, if you get a brand new SD card from the store, and put it in here you'll have to format it to uh, so that it'll be uh, usable on this machine if you've got a SD card that you uh, already have recorded video on uh, or some other device uh, had video on that from that or some other files do not put it in here and format it because it will wipe them out um, then you can uh, go down to version and card info uh, that will tell you how big your card is and how much room you have left on it and then you have a uh, reset setup and that will put all your settings back to factory so anyway that is uh, the menu let's just see if I forgot anything here um, <clears throat> so like we were talking about before uh, you can push this a quick push 
and it should start the should start the rangefinder or not <laughs> the rangefinder start. Okay, it's going now. So let me, so like I was saying before, uh, you can see the light flash and it's not visible to the naked eye. Uh, I don't believe uh, you know, even an animal out in the, the wild will be able to see that, but it does pick up on the camera here. And you can see right there, just above the reticle, um, you see the 5.1 yards. I was a little off on my distance here, but uh, I'm a little bit farther down the garage here past my bench. Um, <clears throat> but uh, let's see, my can right now is... Uh, Showing 5.4 yards. That that's weird because the back of that <laughs> the back of that uh, box there is farther away than the can. The can's probably a foot and a half closer, and it says it's 5.4 yards. Let's go to the the wall. See what the wall says. 5.6. So uh, there's probably differences in materials that are making it show differently, but. Uh, that's the wonders of modern electronics. And again, we can zoom in, zoom in, zoom in. And it, it, it's pretty, pretty cool how even at, let's see, I'm at 12x right now, sitting five yards away from that can. And actually, I probably could focus that even a little bit better. I am on near there, so I'll have to go here. But if you've ever looked through a, a traditional scope and uh, saw how... Oh, stand by. <clears throat> if you've ever <laughs> looked through a traditional scope and gone up and zoom at a short distance... You know how uh, quickly your your image can go to 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 nothing, and uh, that's pretty good for this close closer range. So, but anyway, I'm gonna wrap it up. Just a little tutorial on how to go through the different settings and menus of the. Uh, like I said, I'm no expert on this thing yet, but uh, I'm having a lot of fun with it. Uh, we'll get it out to the range soon when we have a better day. And uh, I'm going to get out there so I can show the day, the starry, and the uh, night mode going all at once. But uh, <clears throat> that'll be for another day. Hope you guys liked the video. Till next time, have a great day.